Visionaries, creative geniuses, modern day renaissance men. These are not the words that people who know Luke and Jorge would use to describe them. They are best friends, shameless connoisseurs of the basic and the niche. And most importantly, two guys just being dudes. Welcome to Bad Jokes and Semi-Wisecracks with Luke and Jorge. Hi, w- welcome to the <laughs> welcome to the podcast. I- I'm welcome Jorge. Welcome to the podcast. Oh, hi, Jorge. I'm Luke. Hi, nice to nice to see you again on this fine nice to s- day. <laughs> I am looking at you. I'm looking at you. But You're we're beautiful. not in the same place. You're right. Thank you. We're not. I'm in the place where I live currently. You are, and I'm in the place where I'm staying currently. Wow. It's like it's like we're like on the run. Like we don't want people to know where we are. Like I'm safe. I made it to the safe house and that's where I am now. But you can't know where it is or I'll have to kill you or something. This is true. I am on the run. No, that's not <laughs> that's not true. I am currently on a work trip. Are and you you are enjoying your work vacation? I am for what however long is left. I know well, how long you left, you. but I don't want to say it out loud because it will make me sad. That you don't have to think about that. You just have to think yeah. about how you're not working right now. Right. Yeah. It's been great. It's been it's been wild. Dude, I had my first watermelon of the year today and it was so Whoa. good. Yeah. I have have you had any watermelon yet this summer? I have, but it wasn't it, I I have a feeling it wasn't this season's watermelon. Wait, what do you mean? Was it like last season's what? Oh, like last year and then they kept it in like a cryo freeze for or however they mm-hmm. do with fruit. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So you had watermelon though. I did, and it was so good and I went way overboard. I ate probably like a third of the watermelon. But then I was too full for like a sec. <laughs> but then you know how like how? if you eat like sorry, what? Go ahead. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're only running into this issue because we're we're doing over the internet. Yeah. No, you keep telling the story. So, so like, I cut up the whole watermelon. I ate a bunch of the watermelon. But then, you know, like, if you eat, like, a regular food and you eat, like, way too much of it, then you, like, feel icky for, like, forever. I only felt icky for, like, a little bit of time. And then I just really had to pee because it's just mostly water. And then it was fine. So life is sure beautiful and good. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm thriving. This is an ideal situation. Mm-hmm. It, it is. Yeah. No work. Watermelon. It's great. I do have to ask how big the watermelon was. Like a regular sized, like bigger than my head watermelon. Okay. Bigger than your head? I think so. You're saying that I have a well, big head? No, I'm just, I, I'm saying actually you have a small head oh. right now. Oh, th- thank right. you. <laughs> so for people that are listening to the podcast the way that God intended, <laughs> you can't see us. But if you're one of those heathens on YouTube, I, I shouldn't speak like this. Yeah, yeah. There's a video uh, version of this podcast that's being recorded as we speak. Who knows if it'll survive the cutting room floor? Who knows? But my head fills my entire little like screen preview, oh. and yours is very small. And so people might get the wrong idea, right? That okay. you have a, a small head in comparison, or maybe they just think that I'm the size of like some sort of giant. Maybe. I, I'm barely <laughs> contained by the four walls of this <laughs> computer you're like, screen. You're like a mime like stuck in a in a glass box. I that's you know, that's how I feel. Ah <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is my prison. <laughs> you're on a work trip though. Is, is I am on a work trip here. How is uh, it? It's going well. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I'm glad. Do you have any other questions? Yes. Is are you having a good time? Yes. Okay. Next question. Are you are you being productive? At the moment, no. Well, like <laughs> o- overall, like like uh, on average, if you average it out the time that you're awake, is it mostly productive or mostly n- unproductive? I would say it's mostly productive. I would say right now, obviously, it, it, it's nighttime when we're recording this. Mm -hmm. I am not being productive. I am sitting in the room where I am staying, recording a podcast, which is not for work. 
But I think in general, my being here is also at least somewhat productive. Not maybe, maybe not necessarily more than my like little home office setup, but it is nice to be around my coworkers. So yeah, in that regard, yeah, very cool. Uh, next question: yeah. Is the bed that you're sleeping in comfortable? It's not too soft and not too firm, which is kind of my preference for a bed. It's it's a twin. It's a twin XL. Okay. And so I feel like I can't turn over. Right. But if I stay in one position, it's 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 nice. Do you stay in one position naturally, or do you have to like really work to like hold still? I feel like when my body knows that I can't move, it doesn't. Oh, actually, okay. no, no, no. I'll take that. I'll, I'll take that back. I think I don't move very much during the night. I definitely, probably snore. Definitely, probably. Definitely, <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> I do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> but not like, but not like loud. Right. Not like through the walls. No, no. If you're in the same room, you can hear me snoring. Yeah. I've, uh, but I have been told that it's like it's comforting more than like bothering. Well, that's nice to hear. Would you disagree? <laughs> I, I, so two things are that it takes me a long time to fall asleep. And if there's like a noise happening, it's hard for me to fall asleep. And so anytime I'm sleeping in a room with other people, they usually fall asleep before I do. And then if they're snoring, then it is like way harder for me to go to sleep. So even like a, a, a nice amount of snoring is, is for me will probably keep me awake, but that for sure is you know it happens gotcha yeah but yeah yeah you're not but you're uh, yeah okay okay all, all that with withstanding um i think most people that aren't super light sleepers will be unbothered by me that's good not that i mean i don't share a room with anyone ever except for right yeah yeah I revealed so little about them. I don't know if that is all the way true. I feel like last episode we did a name drop and everything. We No, that was only on the live stream. Are you sure? I feel like maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I did did you I mean you <laughs> it's I also haven't listened to the last episode since we recorded it. Oh. Uh I, you would know, did I? I believe you did. Yes. I did a name drop. I think maybe first name, right? Nah, not no, anything not, not like a last name and address and all that kind of stuff. That would be well, you know. But much. I didn't go as into detail as I did as I did during the live stream. That's true. Yeah, yeah. So if you didn't watch the live stream, you'll never know. So yeah. Well, I'm. But we're slowly building a lore. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it was the live stream canon, you know? Right. It's like the 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 Star Wars Christmas special. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We cooked hot pot. We did. We've never mentioned hot pot on the podcast until now. <gasps> hot pod. Hot pod. <laughs> Listen to our hot pod. Yeah. And look, watch our hot pod. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I. Yep. That was amazing. Thank you. I'll be here uh, all episode. I hope so. That would be pretty wild if you if I disappeared. <gasps> Was that the sound of you disappearing? In in theory. Whoa! Ooh, where'd he go? He's gone. I'm, I'm back. Whoa! He's back. Dang, life sure is crazy. Life sure is crazy. Yeah. Do you? So what's? I've explained that I am doing a thing. Mm -hmm. What are you up to? What are, what do you got going on? Well, so I'm in a in an 8 week long class for grad school and this is week 6 and it has the most assignments by a lot. And so I've been doing a lot of homework this week, but today I was going to do like half of a thing except for the thing that I was going to do it like is building off of a thing that I did last week and I haven't gotten feedback on the thing that I did last week. So like, I don't want to move forward with the other thing. All this to say, I didn't do any homework today. And instead I just sat around and watched YouTube and ate a lot of watermelon and I made some hamburger helper. And now I'm here talking to you. So it's been very much not a homework kind of a day. 
but uh, that sounds so great. Yeah, honestly, it was pretty nice. Now, I'm not looking forward to tomorrow, and I'm going to have to do, like, tomorrow's homework and today's homework. But, you know, that's that's how that's how it be sometimes. You know, it, sometimes you need to be unproductive in order to be productive. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I did renew my car registration. Dude, we're so boring. Or at least I am. But I did do that. <laughs> I had a I've I've been today it was maybe kind of boring but I I've had fun recently. I, dude, what's that like? I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of stressful. Definitely tiring. That's real. Yeah. Man, it's rough being yeah. a certain age and then it's like, "Oh, having fun is tiring and not having fun is tiring. I should just go to sleep right now." This this is true. Yeah. I mean, it is past your bedtime. Not not in Colorado time. Not for another hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's summer. It's summer. I forget. Right. Although, okay, so here's a fact. So I, I have been, I've decided that this is going to, I'm turning a year older here soon. Actually, I think this episode comes out on my birthday and we'll be having a luau, I think is when this episode is supposed to drop. So um, I think you're right. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, by the time you hear this, I'll be a year older. And I've decided that this is going to be the year of Luke, kind of like the year of George in Seinfeld. I proclaim this the summer of George. <laughs> but it's going to go better than that. And so I've decided that every month I'm going to have a goal. And my goal for July, even though I haven't turned a new age yet, is to get my sleep schedule back on track. And so why am I talking about this? This was related to something I can't remember. Oh, oh, going to bed. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm just enjoying this. <laughs> I also don't know why I'm gesturing like this, like touching my head with both of my hands. And if this becomes a video, it's going to be really fun for people to see it. And if not, just imagine me touching my head with both of my open palms, like windshield wipers. Anyway, going to bed on time. Yeah. So 1030 is bedtime for me starting whenever that starts. That's incredible. Thanks, <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude, well, we need to we need to do more road trips. Dude, we should do a road trip. We didn't do one this summer. We, we it's not too late. You're right. It's not it's, too late. It's not too late. Where do you want to go? Where um, would be fun? I don't know. I you know I've never been to like north of here, like oh, uh, like Keep Wyoming. Talking. Wyoming is a place that I've been to, but like not a ton. And then like. I've never been to Montana. I've never been to Idaho. I've been to Washington, but only like the Seattle area. And so, um, yeah, I feel like that's like a whole part of the continent that I haven't really seen before. And I hear there's cool stuff like potatoes and trees. And uh, where would you want to go? Mm, that's a good question. I think, I think it'd be fun to, I mean, this is going to sound, you know, freaking basic i <laughs> i want to go to the pacific northwest yeah especially right now since it's not that on fire hey yeah that's always good you never know yeah. you never know when you never where will you be when diarrhea strikes where will you be when your diarrhea comes back dude hopefully somewhere conveniently located and that's all i'll say about that <laughs> that's all you'll say about that yeah i can't disagree with that no I, I i think i think the pacific northwest would be interesting this time of year like drive to i think california wow i do sound really basic go to the <laughs> national parks yeah or 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 hear me out i think it would be fun to do a road trip from like new york city through like the heart of the country to denver that would be pretty cool hmm. yeah. yeah yeah that would be a long one that would be a long one but i think we could do it yeah like fly from here to there and then drive back yeah hmm. yeah that could be fun. an awful lot in staten island whoa that would be that would be a real a real adventure flying by the seat of our pants right what a yeah. weird turn what of phrase saying. I'm glad that we both thought that at the same time. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. You know, 
is 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 the like bottom of your bottoms turn into airplane and then you whoof, you know scoot up and whoa 16 niner 33 49 <laughs> 60 or ready for liftoff it's it's cloudy in ontario canada <laughs> but that's not where we are so we're good that, that's not that's not where we're going <laughs> we're going underwater <laughs> Our landing gear is stuck, uh, and our propeller Hudson. is made of seaweed. <laughs> My name is Sully. Oh, man. Uh, wow. <laughs> this, Dude. this flight has been brought to you by Comcast Xfinity. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, okay, when I worked for the university, which we had a, a, the same job for a while, and then I kept working there after you were done working there. So when I worked there after you worked there, I had to very often, like, go to the, the houses that were on campus and, like, mess around with their Xfinity because, like, something was always going wrong. Did you ever have to do that? I think so. I think one time I went with you. Okay, um, okay. The, the Xfinity's always messing up, dog. Mm -hmm. Although I will say I have Xfinity in my house, and it, knock on wood, is like usually fine like i've had like maybe one problem with it one time for like all the years that i've lived here so i'm grateful for that but yes other places i've definitely had a lot of issues i would say the place i live now i've it's been fine most of the time there was a couple of weeks though where it was dodgy like xfinity gave me a heads up like hey we're gonna do construction in your area mm -hmm. like we're doing we're installing 5g nanobots into people's direct <laughs> bloodstream so it's, gonna, <laughs> it's gonna interfere with your you know internet or whatever and they they were like oh it's not gonna happen for two weeks and then the next day we're like it's actually gonna happen right now oh geez and then they were like oh and my internet was like wonky all day and they were like hey we didn't fix anything we'll be back tomorrow and then they weren't <laughs> back the next day and then the next day after that, they were like, hey, we're back, and we are going to start working uh, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, geez. And, like, it was so bad. For, like, for like two weeks, I was, like, playing a guessing game about if my internet was going to be available. I would imagine that's tough working from home and having to deal with that. Yeah. Yeah, my boss is not like that, but that's fine, right? Like, hmm. it is what it is. I showed I showed them the emails and the text. They were understanding, but I I can't say I was was out putting my best work at that time. <laughs> right. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. That happens. Xfinity. Stay off the pod, please. Stay off the pod, Xfinity. <laughs> you know what you did, man. I, have we ever said stay off the pod before? No, that's that's a new one. Are we wow, video is really changing us. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to like buy a Peloton or something. Oh my goodness. Just kidding. I'm not going to buy a Peloton. That I mean that's investment, right? You right. You, do you want to invest into that? No. There's already a stationary bike in my house anyway. <laughs> you got to upgrade, you know? Right, cuz this one's a Schwinn, I think. Is Peloton also a bike brand outside of being like the trendy workout thing? I, I don't think so, but I, I have no proof. Listeners, if you have any proof, email us an email with your proof. Yeah, it's email at email dot email. Just kidding. It's Luke and Jorge Pod <laughs> at email dot com. That's right. Yeah. Or Luke uh, E. Jorge yeah. Pod at gmail dot com. Cool. Or prime, Luke E. Jorge Pod at gmail dot com. <laughs> we'll have that flash on screen. Yeah. Maybe. Just kidding. I don't know if we can do that. Listeners, if you were just listening, find out by <laughs> watching the YouTube version of this podcast. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I don't really know um, anything about editing video, so it'll be a real adventure. It'll be a real adventure. I think I'm yeah. probably going to edit this one. Okay. Oh, yeah. This, uh, yeah, I think it's... A, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Well... Well, yeah, I'm not going to have you edit right before your birthday. Right. Dude, okay, so I was at happy hour on Monday, today's Wednesday, with some work friends, some of whom are invited to the luau. That's a birthday party that's not my birthday party. And they figured it out already. So that's something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's probably like a staff calendar that you don't know about with your birthday on it. That's what happened to me. Really? That happened to you? 
Yeah, apparently they never invited me to the all staff calendar, like Google Calendar that I was supposed to be on, and no one knew that I wasn't on it because it has, every, but it has everyone's birthdays. Hmm. And so I was like, "How does everyone know my birthday already?" And they're like, "Well, you kept being dodgy when we asked you outright when your birthday was, so we looked it up and put it in the calendar eight times." <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I kind of deserved it, you know. Yeah, I mean, I am similar in that I like don't always want people to know because it's like, oh, it's like a bunch of pressure and stuff. But then if people are doing that to me, I will definitely do whatever I can to figure it out. So I, I get it. I get your coworkers. I, I have done the same thing. Good. Good. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I don't love it, but I understand it. And I respect it. They, <laughs> they I would never say that to them. So if they're listening, this is the only time you'll hear it. I respect it. Now you just have to never let them listen to it. Cause then I told find them about out. it already. Okay. Yeah, it's, this well. is what happens when I'm in person. I tell people things. Yeah. Cats out of the bag. Cats out of the bag. Also, what a weird phrase. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause what also cat doing in the bag. Right. And also like I could put the cat back in the bag if I wanted to, but then you'd be hurting a cat. Hurting with an E R D or a U R T? You know, like herding cats. Ah, okay, like with an E R D, like sheep. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. never heard of that? No, I have. But I, I, at first, I thought you meant like I would be like injuring the cat by putting it in the bag, which, like, I suppose would be possible. But I, I would I never. Guess it could be both. That's true. Hurting while hurting. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Don't put your cat in a bag. Don't put your... No one puts cat in a bag. <laughs> nice. Thanks. Dude, um, sorry. What? What's up? No, no, no. I, I was just going to say Good. that I, I laughed really percussively, and then my snare drum that's sitting right behind me kind of rung for a second. Rang? Rung? Did it do the sizzle? Did? Did the, the snare sizzle? No, because I have the snare part turned off. Oh, but, fair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was that's, the, that's the drum <laughs> ring, isn't it? Is oh, it? yeah. You're right. Yeah. 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 For people that don't know, a snare drum, you know, like the boots and cats and boots and cats, it's the cats part of the boots and cats, and there's chains on the bottom of the drum, but you can, like, turn it on and off, so that way the chains are either touching the drum or not, and so that's what we're talking about, turning the snare off. So right now, the chains are not touching the drum, so it doesn't make a sizzly sound when I laugh really loud. The end. You were such a music teacher. I know, I can't turn it off, it's terrible. Dude, I, like, chastised some kids at the gym today, which, you know, they're, like, kids that I know, but it's the gym, so I, like, I'm not in charge but I was like, go, like, don't stand there. Like, we have places to be. And and then I was like, oh, it's tough to turn off sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. It's real. How, I mean, how was it with your, with your coworkers? Like, do you, do you all teach her? You, I know that you all probably don't teach her each other, but like, do you have the same banter in front of students as you do outside of school? Absolutely not. And I yeah. don't want to reveal too much because I know that some students will probably hear this, but uh, let's just say, I assume that they are putting up a little bit of a front with us, and we are putting up a little bit of a front with them also. Whoa. Yeah. The, the bed sheet separator is really coming down. <laughs> what the, What do you mean by that? Uh, you know, like, like <laughs> the only thing separating you from them is like a bed sheet, and it's, and it's like what's keeping the illusion up, and you know, oh. you just drop it a little bit. Gotcha. Okay. It's yes. a thin, thin separation. It it's it could be a little thicker. So like a wool yeah. a wool or like a wall like a wall like a wall with a locking door, please. That would be your preference. Yes. Please. Okay. <laughs> We're on the same page though. That the the, the the our wishes and reality are different. Mm, yeah, that's a shame. Do you wanna hear about where I am, I, I haven't revealed, have I? You have to me before we started, but not to the to the to the listeners here on this podcast. Put a drum roll in your brain, or say it out loud, or write a comment. Well, I'm about to reveal where I am. Pause it right now and guess where you think Jorge is. Three, two, one. Good job. Thanks for doing that. Yeah, and for YouTubers. And if you're listening via <laughs> audio only, send us an email with your guests. Yeah, I'll do that also. 
Is it a coffee pot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you're, you're not in a kitchen. No, I'm. Uh, this coffee pot is sitting on top of an of glove on top of the top like twenty keys of my keyboard. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Incredible. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep moving forward. Uh, <laughs> listeners, by now you've probably made some weird guesses about where I am, but let me tell you, I'm in a place stranger still. <laughs> I am in Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> this is this is the HQ of the place where I work, and this is where my co a lot of my most of my coworkers live, and this is where we are doing some programming for some youth this week. So I am in Cleveland, Ohio, and I have been here since Sunday. I have had some time to do some fun things, both because of work and also in spite of it. <laughs> nice and so i've learned a lot about ohio in fact since i've had this job for nearly the last year and luke i know that you know basically nothing about this state mm -hmm, mm -hmm. my father was born there but that's all i got for you that's wonderful <laughs> yeah <laughs> where, where was your dad born uh, Elsa, what's his social security number <laughs> toledo and eight wow yeah a celebrity yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so I have some facts for you, Lucas, about the state of Ohio. And I, I need you, I require you to tell me if you think these things are true or false. Great. This is a little game we're going to play. The, the rules are simple for, for folks at home. Um, I'm going to say a fact. I'm going to pause. People can pause the video, pause the recording, whatever. Guess what you think and keep score. If you outscore Luke, you can send us a DM on Instagram. Because <laughs> you and can't otherwise. <laughs> the first two people to do so and, and tell us about their score higher than Luke with photographic evidence, by which I mean, I don't know, you figure that out. <laughs> the first two people to DM us you want a t-shirt. Ooh, from the stream? Shh. From the stream. No one no one no one no one cashed in their t-shirts from the stream. That's fine. But we have two t-shirts to give away. You can even tell us your size and we'll figure something out. But for <laughs> now, we're going to play this game. It's called Is It Ohio? <laughs> Wait, is is there like a threshold of numbers that I can get right to win something? Can I win a t-shirt? You have a t-shirt. You're right. <laughs> um, you can win my admiration by your wonderful guessing attitude. Oh, that's what I've always been craving, Dad. <laughs> I was not ready for you to call me your father. <laughs> uh, but I'll embrace it, son. Uh, okay. The Will first... you embrace me too, Dad? Can we Gladly. play catch? <laughs> Only if you do your homework. Yeah, fair enough. Tomorrow. Fair enough. Okay, so, so here's what I got. Ohio, believe it or not, has a state, or sorry, Ohio, believe it or not, has a national park. Is this true or false? Oh, just like has any any singular national park? Yes. Well, not all states have national parks. Uh, uh, I, I'm going to say, okay, I, I'm going to say true and I'm going to say it, it has like a weird name. That's my. Oh, I, I'm taking. It's a, it's a big down. swing. Yep. That's a huge <laughs> swing. What if it has like a normal name, like the Ohio Valley State Park? <laughs> can I? If it's if if it's that, can I get like a point for being correct, and then no penalties for my big swingitude? Is this your final answer? Yep, I'm going with it. Yes, and it's okay. a weird name. The name of the national park is Cuyahoga Valley National Park. Ooh, okay. Well, I feel weird saying that that's weird because it's probably just like a Native American name. It but, is. Yeah. is it, are you going to alienate the indigenous peoples of this land? No, please. I don't want to do that. You only get one point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, well, I'm on really the board. Just, yeah, you're on the board of education. Oh, I don't want to do oh, that. The state of Topeka, Kansas. Oh, and you're being wait. sued. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> For <laughs> lack of integration. Ooh, poor Kansas. Yeah. The defendant is brown. 
and not the color, like the name. <laughs> oh, like Brown v. Board? Yeah, Brown versus the Board of Education of Topeka, Kansas. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're on the board. You got it right. Yeah. Hey, heck yeah. Uh, Ohio does indeed have a national park, and it is Cuyahoga Valley National Park. Sweet. We need um, like a ka sound. We do. We'll, we'll, we'll put it in post. It, it'll happen in post. Wait, here it is. Ready? Ka-ching! That's not what post means. <laughs> You're right. You're making the sound <laughs> with your mouth. No, no, no the, the park, not only is it a, a national park, it is rather beautiful. Ooh. So you've been to the park? I have. I, I went on a really nice hike on Sunday afternoon. It was it was it was really incredible. Um and I yeah, one of my coworkers picked me up from not from the airport, for from something else that I was doing and drove me to the national park and we went on a hike and it was great. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna ask if you've seen any squirrels and if you've noticed what color they are. I have not seen squirrels, though I did see a chipmunk. Okay. Yeah. But I have no no answer to the squirrel squirrel color question. If you if you see any, take note of what color the squirrels are. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a statement number two for you to tell me if it's true or false. All right. Hit me there hit. are fireflies in the state of Ohio. Oh, that's got to be true because there's fire, fireflies in Pennsylvania, and that's nearby. I think? Question mark. I'm going with true. No big swing on this one. You're right. It is true. Sick. Um, uh, statement number three: Ohio is close to Pennsylvania. Oh well, I guess close is is relative. Do they share a border? Hold on, calculating. I don't think they share a border, but I do think they are close. Okay, then th- that's too nebulous. Then, <laughs> well, do, do they share a border? Yes or no? I'm gonna go. I'm going with. I'm going with no, but I'm not sure. You're going with, is that your final answer? Yes. You were wrong. Oh, ah, bummer. Pennsylvania is directly east of Ohio. Oh. Specifically, Pitts- Pittsburgh to Cleveland, where I am, is like two hours. It's two hours from Cleveland to Pittsburgh. Wow. So... Uh, yeah, how does it feel to be wrong? I'm filled with shame, and to the whole, my mom's side of the family, I'm sorry. But also, nope, that's all I got. My sincerest apologies to the, to the, to the family. Am. Fair enough. Yep. In, in a similar vein, Ohio ha- is, has a, a fairly sizable Amish population. True Whoa. or false? Oh, oh, okay. I thought that was like a fun extra fact that was just non-disputable. <laughs> Indisputable? Anyway, I... Because I know that there's like the Pennsylvania Dutch that I, I think are similar or the same as Amish, question mark. But I feel like we've had a lot of true ones so far. So maybe it's time to be false. But also maybe they're just all true. So I'm going to go with... I'm going to... Okay, let's take a big swing. Are you ready for my big swing? I'm ready for your big swing. Here it is. I'm going to go with true. There are there is an Amish population, and they have a rivalry with the Pennsylvania Amish population. <laughs> what? That's outside the scope of this question. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Felt like a a good swing to take. The answer. There is in Yay! fact Amish people in Ohio. Let's go, ka-ching! I I can't I can't I, it's out of it's I I don't have the knowledge about whether <laughs> or not they have a right I didn't even know what that would begin to look like right me neither it couldn't be like um, a TikTok thing no but I'm gonna uh, but yes there are in fact Irish, Amish people in Ohio also Irish probably we're talking about the Amish right but yeah yeah amazing they are. You- are there's Amish country in Ohio. Like, there's a part of Ohio that's like known as Amish country. Near Gambier is like a town that I once spent time in in Ohio that is like known for its Amish country. It's like maybe an hour, two hours from Columbus or something like that. Okay. Uh, it's where Kenyon College is, and Kenyon Kenyon is in the middle of Amish country. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. 
Neat. Okay. Are I you... have I have maybe one or two more facts. I don't know how you're feeling. Fair enough. I well, are you keeping score? Because I don't think I was, but I feel like I'm three for four. Does that sound right? I think I think you were. Because the one that you missed was the Pennsylvania one. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I got. I think the... that's correct. Okay. All right, listeners. Um, that, that's that's. Are you going to beat me? Because I don't know. I'm doing pretty okay. You got to get them perfect. Yep. And how? Are, and and obviously, you're going to tell me the truth. Right. Of course. No one ever lies on the internet. Oh, but though one of the people listening could be from Ohio, and they might just know everything because everyone True. from Ohio knows everything about Ohio. Okay. All are right. you ready for? I have, I have a couple more questions. I'm I think ready. I have three more. Three Act more. Me. Yes. Yes. Ohio has the largest population of stray cats in the country. Whoa, that's a weirdly specific thing. What? If I'm thinking of a place that has a lot of stray cats, do I think of Ohio? Do I ever think of Ohio? Not really. I, I, okay, let's take another big swing. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to say, I'm going to say no. And, and Ohio's animal shelters are the best funded in the country. Why? Why would you do this to me? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I can't verify one way or the other. Well, fair. You're you're right. It's not Ohio. Is do you know where it is? I know it's not Ohio. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Again, outside of the range of knowledge of mine. Fair enough. Um. Yes. Okay. Two more questions. Okay. Or I guess statements. Right. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is located in the state of Ohio. Oh, I should know this. And my immediate thought was going to be, no, it's in Nashville. But is it in Nashville? I don't know. Because, like, if 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 you were if you came up to me on the street and you were like, "Hey, you know that the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is in Ohio, right?" I'd be like, "Yeah, sure, okay." So, but also, what if it's not? I'm gonna go. I'm going to go with sure, and I think it's in Cleveland. Specifically. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh. It's in downtown. It's right on the shores of Lake Erie. Wow. I because it. Cleveland is known as the birthplace of rock and roll. Why? Was there like a, a person that happened there or like several people? Weirdly enough, also outside of the scope of my knowledge. Yeah, fair I enough. I couldn't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> I, there was an exhibit at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I got to visit. It was great. I, there was an exhibit about Cleveland, and I didn't pay as much attention as I should have. There was a lot of cool stuff to see. I was kind of trying to move through it quickly, which was a mistake. I should have stayed a little bit longer, but it was good. It was really, really good, and I would go back again. Yeah. Very cool. And, you know, that brings us to our final question. Oh boy. Now, you've only missed one so far. Right. So, and so you could have a near perfect game. I could. You could also lose it all right now. <laughs> right. Yeah, and be sent I'm home take with nothing. All your points. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. It's yeah. There's a, there's a there's one more question. That's it. All right. Hit me baby. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Final question. Mm -hmm. Ohio is connected via land to Canada. Connected via it land? Shares a, it shares a land border with Canada. I don't think that's true. I could see it being connected via water to Canada, but I feel like there's some other... I, I'm realizing that my geography in like the upper right half of the country is perhaps not the best. Because there's like a lot of little bitty guys up there, right? Like Delaware and stuff, Maryland. Actually, I could probably mm -hmm. point it to, but like New Hampshire. Where's New Hampshire? I don't know. I'm going to go with no. I don't think Ohio touches Canada via land. But I bet they there's a great lake. Oh, Lake Erie, you just said. Yeah, so that, that's got to touch Canada with water. Or was I throwing you off? Was it I trying to confuse you? I don't think so. I think, I think I'm going with no, it does not touch Canada. Final answer. Oh, and here for my big swing. <laughs> you don't have to do this. People in Ohio hate Canada. They hate it. This is such a hot take. <laughs> <thing. laughs> 
you gotta go big or go home you know you really didn't have to (laughs) hey i Uh, have seen (laughs) sports before are you sure no (laughs) i'm not i'm not sure that you're sure i okay are you sure about canada though yes okay ohio does not share a land border with canada and it is in fact connected only via lake erie ka-ching that's the sound of me winning now because you (laughs) also (laughs) said that they hate canadians that's i mean as far as like like ohioans please you know tell us down below yeah and or also email us tell us you know do you hate canadians (laughs) but but i will say so far it does not seem that these people hate canadians it seems rather the opposite they're oh. pretty ambivalent to, to slash warm towards canadians uh, that seems deserved the the times that i've been in canada i've had a lovely time even though you, you were in the, the french part of canada well i've been in the english part of canada also I got stuck in an elevator in Canada. Well, no, I didn't, but I had to help children that were stuck in an elevator in Canada this summer. Ooh. So, yeah. Oh, incredible. Yeah. Wow. Thank you for these Ohio facts. I feel so educated on Ohio. You're welcome. And so I think your final score was like six of, out of seven. We will take it. That sounds good to me. So if if you if you got all seven hit us up on instagram yeah uh, and then we'll we'll be able to chat with you directly and hopefully give you a, a shirt um, yeah. but we need photographic evidence right you beat luke whatever that means well, you decide mm-hmm. choose your own adventure wow this um, was fun this could be this could be a, a thing we could just have facts about things and debate their true. validity is this a new debate. segment <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Season yeah. two is getting wild. Dude, yeah. <laughs> I'm down for it. I'm I'm here for it. Radical, brother. Radical. Oh, I had one more. This is a bonus one. Ooh, the bonus one. Give me the bonus the one. Bonus one. In Cleveland, this is Cleveland specific. Not maybe not an Ohio thing, but a Cleveland thing. Okay. There is a sport played in Cleveland, and it is called whirly bird that seems too weird to be wrong so i'm gonna say yes i agree can you guess what the sport one of the components of this sport the whirly bird i'm gonna say i want to say either something frisbee related or something like akin to i was gonna say croquet but that's not right badminton something kind of akin to badminton those are my guesses those are those are excellent guesses in fact, Whirly Bird is actually a combination of bumper cars and, like, lacrosse. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you, but everyone is in, there's two teams, right? Everyone is in these modified bumper cars, modified so that you can steer them with, like, one hand. Okay. And it's basically, you have, like, little scoopers that are, like, in the shape of, like, a lacrosse head, but, like, rounded. Okay. And 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 little balls and you're basically flinging them at like the backboards of like basketball backboards. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and the, and and points are awarded for hitting the backboard and points are awarded to the opposite team if you foul. Okay. What what constitutes a foul? There's, oh, I'm glad you asked. There's a couple things. <laughs> if you hit another car going very quickly while they are stopped, if it's excessive velocity, like excessive, you ram somebody with excessive force, that's that's a penalty. Okay. If you hit like another person's like little hand scoopy thing, that's a penalty. If you're, I think also it was like if you beat the the hand thing against your own vehicle. Mm. Or you're just like being destructive because we're using other people's property. I think that that was a foul, maybe for those reasons. Like you, that wouldn't happen in like a professional game, probably. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have to like go to a place to play this? Mm-hmm. It's like a specialized like ring because it has to be like a bumper car 
sort of area mm -hmm. with like the, the the basketball backboards. Okay. Wow. That sounds pretty yeah. fun. This was our team bonding. <laughs> Do you feel bonded? I feel I feel good. I I, <laughs> I feel I feel closer to my team, at, to my coworkers, maybe more than I should. Oh, all right. They saw a part of me. You, I'm not competitive, but I am weird. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> like I'm like oh, I'm glad everyone had fun, and also. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, no, it it was a lot of fun. We also did like bowling. Um, it was like the same place. They do that and like bowling, as you can imagine. Okay, yeah, that seems like that tracks. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. That sounds like um, kind of like the closest thing to Rocket League we, we have in real life. In real life? Oh, my Lord. Yeah, like kind of. <laughs> yeah, like cars and balls. <gasps> That's the cars name of the episode. Balls. Whoa! <laughs> it doesn't have to be, but it could be. It, it probably will be because you said it. <laughs> you it into existence. Manifesting is real. Manifesting is real, <laughs> and so is my anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a T-shirt. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. I'm glad you're having a good time in Ohio. Ohio in it up. You know, it's been it's been Ohio has treated me surprisingly well. And I not I'm not surprised by it, but I think other people might be. Yeah, that anyone or anything could treat me well. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. People are nice to me sometimes. Sometimes, occasionally. Yeah, depending on one's mood. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what 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 else do you want to do? I had kind of a shower thought that I I wanted to share with you. So, oh yeah, I would consider myself a card carrying member of the facial hair community. Not that we have cards, but you know, I was about I, to ask if you had a card. I I don't. I would like one. I would take one if they had them. But no, I I don't have a card. But I have a facial hair, and you also have a facial hair. Oh, I do. You do. And so I don't know if this is an experience that you can relate with, but I feel like I I have this facial hair, and I'm like, boy everyone's going to be so impressed with my facial hair and it's going to be so rad. And I'll, sometimes people are like, Hey, nice beard. And I'm like, Hey, thanks. But I find that the people that I talk about it with the most are other card carrying members of the facial hair community. Mm -hmm. And then I started to think of like, well, are there other things that are kind of like that? And so off the top of my head in the shower, I thought about like, Oh, like gym rat type people it's like sort of similar, right? Like if, if, if you go to the gym a lot, you're probably not going to talk about it with anyone other than your like gym rat buddies. And, and then I was like, what else could be like that? And then I was like, Oh, like car people and especially like pickup truck or Subaru people. Like, you know, if you're not in the community, then you don't want to hear about it. And so those are, those are some things. And I wondered if we could think of any more things that are kind of similar to that. Oh, for sure. Like playing guitar. Ooh, yeah. Right? Like if you talk to like eight-year-old me and told eight-year-old me that playing guitar would not get women to talk to you, it would just get <laughs> other weird guitar players to come up and talk to you. Like when I'm done playing guitar in a thing, women don't come up and like, oh, my goodness, that was so hot. It's always... Hey Doug, what are your pedals? <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, was, that's interesting. What yeah, what year freaking uh, squire jazz master is that? Is that the <laughs> Oh, your pickups are the other ones? That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like I like to play with heavier strings actually. <laughs> you're you're wrong for liking lighter ones. Like it's it you know, like oh you're using jazz picks. I only use you know the tortoise ones with the really colorful colors <laughs> like oh you, you know like it's it's always something dumb like that <laughs> by which i mean like i love talking to people about guitars but uh, you know yeah i'm not cool <laughs> you are among <laughs> guitarists maybe you know my opinions are pretty pretty yeah people are like oh what's your amp and i'm like this crappy one that i got off <laughs> facebook marketplace that i really love despite it always sounding bad i think it's it, is it the one that i've heard before because i think it sounds fine 
but also I, maybe I'm not educated enough. You know, I don't think I am either. I just really enjoy my instrument. Hey, sometimes that's all you need. Yeah. I, so I would say, I would say, yeah, I would say playing guitar is like that. And most instruments, honestly, like if you're playing in a band, most instruments are like that. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like rock climbing. Do you think that's like that? I'm not really in the rock climbing community. I don't know if rock climbers are trying to impress non-rock climbers. I think they're just trying to make everyone feel, you know, inferior. (laughs) That's fair. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's less like kind of outward facing. Oh, you climb? Oh, but you don't boulder. Mm, Oh, you climb in a gym. Oh, I actually, I don't even use my hands. <laughs> just use my teeth. I just <laughs> actually like to chew through the rocks. As right. I <laughs> Why do you need to climb it if you can just gnaw through it? Oh, your body can't can't digest rocks? <laughs> Man. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> Evolutionarily inferior. Anyways, I need to go take care of this hernia. <laughs> <laughs> By eating more rocks. <laughs> By eating more rocks. Huh. I'm trying to think of what other things could be like that. Yeah. This could be a good time for some listener input. Listeners, if you know of or are part of kind of a weird niche community that's trying to impress other people, but instead only impresses themselves, let us know. Yeah. Comments down below or via email. You know who you are. You yeah. Pick your, you picked your, you've picked, you've picked your medium. I'm trying to think. I, I, like, there's got to be other good ones, right? What have we said? We said we, instruments, mm-hmm. cars, mm-hmm. beards. Beards mm-hmm. are definitely like that for sure. Yep. I, 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 yeah. I like to tell people when their beards are cool, and I feel like I'm not the person that people with beards want to hear from. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I feel like anytime anyone tells me my beard is cool, I'm like, hey, thanks. Let me tell you about the five things that I do every morning to take care of it. Just kidding. I only do that if they ask. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah. I would say another thing that's similar to that is, well, I don't know. Beer people like to talk about beer. Beer, right? like, beer with no D? Like the drink? Yes. Cool. Yes. Like, okay. Like, not that anyone drinks, like, a particular beer to, like, impress other people, mm-hmm. but but beer people find each other, and they're like, oh, like, oh, that's a really good, like, oh, you, that's a really good porter. Have you tried this quintuple IPA that was barrel-aged in a wine glass basement? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was actually skunked purposely with a uh, year-old cod. Uh, to really bring out the hoppiness and <laughs> all of the astringent, terrible flavors of the moss that was growing um, on a tree 400 yards away outdoors. <laughs> wow, you know, for a second there, I was like, I would drink these beers, and then and then and then it changed, and then now <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this beer is 18 ABV. <laughs> <laughs> Holy heck, that would be a lot. It's 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 also three thousand Scoville, <laughs> dude. That would be terrible. I wouldn't want that. Yeah. Also, like an yeah. eight on the Richter scale, and it makes your credit go down forty points. <laughs> oh no, that'll take me from average to terrible. I actually don't yeah. know what the what the things are. But that's I okay. don't either. Yeah. And my credit card company keeps saying it's a problem. Oh well. Just delete those emails, and then then it doesn't. It's not real. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Have you, in the last couple of years, been just getting so many credit card companies reaching out to you via mail? More than none, but I wouldn't say like a ton. Do you have mm-hmm. a, a, too a ton? Many. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It feels predatory. Oh, yeah. Do you ever sign up for any of them? It is. We don't have to talk about that. <laughs> Fair enough. 
Oh, okay. Here's a fun fact. So when I was in high school, I was I I had a friend, and we were really into like parkour and stuff. But also, kind of adjacent to that was like lock picking and like the ability to break into stuff. And so oh we my learned. Lord. <laughs> and so nothing Wait, will does be... everyone go through a lock picking phase maybe i don't know it's it seems like it would be a good skill to have until you learn that it's like hard to f- do it but <laughs> but so my friend and i we we figured out the method where you can just like take a credit card and like slip it in to the door jam like to like scooch the 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 like part of the doorknob to the side you know so like if it's dead bolted you can't do it but if it's just the handles locked you can do that and so then i would just like take all the fake credit cards from the credit card ads that my parents would get and then i would just use those to try to learn how to break into places mostly just my own house but yeah so you can use Whoa. those for that incredible Yep. I feel like most most of the ones I've gotten don't even have one on the inside. They have like a picture of like a perspective one. Ah, oh, lame. I mean, it's I know. probably like less wasteful and stuff, but still. Yeah, but maybe they shouldn't send the letters to begin with. True. That's, yep. That's real. Also, I thought of another one. Ooh. What is it? Like photographers. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Like, like it's people, I it, it's always a hope of like, at least when I go shooting, that somebody's gonna be like, "Hey, that's a cool camera. Do you do photography? Do you want to <laughs> take photos of things for me for money?" <laughs> and and it's almost always like, "Hey, is that a Nikon X ninety five sixty four K twelve three o three R R P X Y W Z? Oh, is that lens eighty to?" 900,000 milliliters <laughs> <laughs> like that's great yeah my I also prefer to shoot micro four fifths of an eighth and this, oh, by the way this is me this is this is the person I am I literally had this conversation earlier with my co-worker who was shooting photos of a thing that we were doing for work <laughs> and I was just like oh you know, this camera is the camera that I want to get. And isn't that incredible? And and they were like, yeah. And, oh man. And, (laughs) and I know, and I know it was like, this is somebody I work with and like, I'm grateful for. And I am, I, and also I feel bad that I am the stereotype. Um, Yeah. I hope the things I said are smart and like thoughtful and, you know, maybe like a point of, you know, celebrating a hobby of mine and and something that they also enjoy doing i i I say that because i don't you know part of it is also their job Mm -hmm. but you know at the same time i'm the worst and (laughs) so i need to make fun of myself yeah i mean it's tough though like you know if you see someone in a community that you're also in like it's tough to not want to talk to them about that community you know that's true Yeah. yeah Yeah. Like what gamers of... aren't like that. Gamers are not like that. You're right. I think I think gamers are are not under the impression that they're impressing other people which mm-hmm. is uh probably good that they know that. Yes. Yeah. No one's impressed and also gamers are too shy to talk to anyone. <laughs> right. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Except for on like Discord or something. Yeah. Or on like Xbox Live when they're calling you slurs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't say I've had that happen. But also, I never had an Xbox, so that's probably why. You know? That's probably why. Yeah. No slurs on PlayStation. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, I remember that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, dog, it's been a whole episode. It has. We really did it. We really did. Um... Do you have anything to plug? No. Wash your hands. Drink some water. Hey, it's crazy. Okay, this is the thing that I've figured out way too recently, but it's crazy. Like if you're if you're sitting down and you're like, huh, I don't really feel great. Like have a glass of water and then like walk around the block and you'll feel way better. That yeah, that's all. I'm I'm plugging. That's really sound life advice. Yeah, it. You know, I figured it out fairly recently. Just take take a short walk, have a glass of water, move your body any amount, you'll feel better. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 That's all. Do you 
Do you have anything you want to plug? Yeah, you should register to vote. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, do that. Yeah, I, it's not an election year, but it will be. Right. They keep coming around again and again. They keep, every couple years. Yeah. Maybe it is an election year where you are for your Maybe. local or county or state or um, in your heart, in yeah. your dreams. <laughs> register to vote in your dreams and also in real life. That would be a weird dream to have to register to vote. That's like a that work dream, but like a citizenship dream. <laughs> it's kind of stressful. <laughs> yeah. Do it in real life so you don't have to dream about it. There How about go. that? Yeah, I like it. I'm also, I don't know, personal plug in it. Got always be plugging. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jarvis. Mm -hmm. Also, Jarvis, uh, get on the pod. Get on the pod. <laughs> That's hard to do um, over the internet. But we did it. We did. Yeah. Anyway, I was gonna say I've been I've been streaming on the Twitches. Whoa! I don't have a consistent schedule, but if you follow me, you will get a little notification when I go live. And if you watch me, that would be fun. And that that's all I got. Nice. Um, yeah. People already know what your Twitch is because they all watched the live stream. But just in case they, because you only watched it on YouTube. Right. Yeah. The Twitch is twitch.tv slash Jorge the Worker. J O R G E T H E W O R K E R. There it is. I spelled it right. I had a, like a double check in my brain. Yeah. It sounded right to me. Thank you. You're welcome. You can follow us at Luke and Jorge Pod on every platform. Right. Even the ones we're not on yet. Yeah. Because that name is never taken anywhere because. Never. Yeah. If you're on Blue Sky, <laughs> send us an invite. Yeah. And we're maybe... not on that one. No. We are on threads. I don't think I've told you that. You did. You did tell me that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah we're on threads. Cool. We're on Twitter for as long as Twitter continues to exist, I guess. Right. But we're not active. I, I by which I mean follow us anyways. Right. Yeah. Uh, Maybe that'll revive know. Twitter of the of the yeah. when it was better. Was it ever better? I don't know. That's arguable. Yeah. You know? Is what is better? True. Right. You, you can follow us on Instagram. Yeah. You can follow us on Facebook. Yeah. You can send a carrier pigeon just with at Luke and Jorge Pod. <laughs> or on YouTube, our Gmail is Luke and Jorge Pod at gmail dot com. Luke E. Jorge pod at gmail.com. Sorry, I was distracted about carrier pigeons. How do they know where to go? Do they only go to one place and it's back to their home? No, they go two places. They go somewhere else and then home. Wow. Smart yeah. birds. Anyway, we don't have to get caught up on that. But yes, we're, we're, my name is Luke. My name is Jorge. And this has been a podcast. Yeah. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for thanks for chilling. Goodbye. Goodbye.